Kate, this lasagna looks really great. Very well worth the interminable wait. I asked you twice to stop doing that. What? We're just having a pre-dinner chat. You know what I mean. Rhyming everything I say. No problem, Willie. Have it your way. Kate! Kate, he's doing it again. What? He's rhyming the last word of everything I say. Go ahead, Alf. He's been doing it all day. Now he's got me doing it. What a creep. I never want to see him again. I guess Lynn and her boyfriend had a fight. We should go see if she's all right. Oh, sure, when Kate makes a rhyme, it's no big deal. Just for that, I'm eating your meal. Science or sports? He'll take science. Do you mind? I can pick my own category. Who won the Super Bowl last year? I'll take science. What is the primary element of the planet Jupiter? Oh, it's easy. Hydrogen. <clears throat> You're wrong. It's buttermilk. <laughs> Willie's right. It's hydrogen. Then why do they call it the Dairy Planet? <laughs> Who calls it the Dairy Planet? Jupertonians. It's on their license plates. <laughs> Mom, it's your turn. Okay. Entertainment. Okay, uh, what singing phenomenon? <laughs> Florence Henderson. Alf, it's not your turn. The answer is not Florence Henderson. It's Shirley Jones. Oh, like there's really a difference. <laughs> Mail's here. Not that it matters. Oh, come and join us, honey. Take Alf's place. <laughs> I don't really feel like it. I'll be in my room. Not that it matters. Gee, what a downer. <laughs> it's only been a week since she broke up with Laloid. I never understood why he pronounced both the L's. Because he was a Lulox. You know, it takes a little time to get over a breakup. I'm gonna go check on her. We'll see you a little later. <laughs> oh, there's a book here for you. Shelley Winter's Guide to True Love. I'm sending it back. It's not for me. It's to help Lynn. Oh, this will be a great help. Chapter one. Love is like a pizza. Brilliant! <laughs> Love is like a pizza. Sometimes it's cold and flat. Sometimes it's hot and gooey. The secret is to take it a slice at a time and hold the anchovies. Alf, I don't want to talk about love or pizza. Boy, according to Shelley, you're wallowing in the muck of self-pity. She says you'll feel better if you confide in a close friend. So come on, confide. All right. Laloid wants to go out with other girls. Oh, there's that name again. Do you want me to confide or not? Sorry. 
Lloyd. We were so perfect for each other. We were going to get married at the planetarium. He was even going to name a comet after me. What was he going to name it? Lolin? <laughs> Aren't there any other fellas you'd like to date? Well, there's this one guy. But that doesn't mean he'd want to go out with me. Well, who is it? His name is Danny Duckworth. He's on the baseball team. Let's see. Uh, here's his picture. The dork holding the water bucket? No, 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 that's his cousin Donnie. See, Danny's the one swinging the three bats. So call him up. I can't do that. He'd know I like him. You don't want the boy you like to know you like him. Right. Makes sense? You don't understand. Oh, I understand. Nobody on this planet ever says what they mean. We say what we mean, as long as the other person says it first. Shelly, Shelly, it's up to you, babe. Come on, don't let me down. Ah, chapter two. Take action. Ask a friend to fix you up. Well, there you have it. Yo, operator, do you have a listing for a Duckworth? Would he even try making banana coffee? I don't think you even want to know. Hey, Willie, when's the last time you changed the blades in this razor? Oh, my, my razor is a like... <gasps> <gasps> Why were you shaving? According to Shelley, women like clean-shaven men. Don't ever touch. Anything that touches my face. Al? How could you do this to me? I couldn't find my own roll on. Lynn, what's wrong? I have got a date to go bowling with Donnie Duckworth, the geekiest guy in school, thanks to my brother, Alf. Your brother? That's what he told Donnie when he called him on the phone. You wanted me to. I did not want you to. Well, you said you liked the guy. I said I like Danny Duckworth. You called Donnie his cousin. Danny, Donnie, Florence, Shirley. I'm getting a headache. <laughs> I think I'll go lie down. Well, hold it right there, bro. I think you have one more phone call to make to get this thing straightened out. It's too late, Mom. Donnie has already bought us matching bowling shirts. That was my idea. I hope you like Paisley. <laughs> now, the secret to bowling, or talaquoits, as it's known in the civilized universe, is in the wrist action and in the ripeness of the melon. <laughs> We don't bowl with cantaloupes. Then what do you bowl with? Heavy plastic balls. You're kidding. Well, at least it's something edible. <laughs> Hi, you must be Donnie Duckworth. Come on in. Thanks, but I'm Danny Duckworth. I'm Donnie Duckworth's cousin. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Where's Donnie Duckworth, mm, Danny? Well, he got so nervous about this date that he started puking his guts out. Oh, that's not good. He had, he had a date with a cheerleader once, nearly coughed up a spleen. That's not good either. Uh, Lynn? Hi, I'm Mrs. Tanner. You must be Donnie Duckworth. No, no, I'm Danny Duckworth. See, Donnie couldn't come uh, it because It involves he's... organ displacement, dear. I'll, I'll, I'll fill you in later. You know, I, I hope it's okay with Lynn that I came instead. <sighs> oh, I'm sure she won't mind. Oh, good. Danny Duckworth. Hi, Lynn. Donnie's sick, so I, I just came instead. I hope that's okay. Are you kidding? I mean, I, I guess so. He gave us these bowling shirts, but I, I don't really like bowling, so I thought maybe we'd go to a drive-in. Is that okay, too? That's fantastic! I mean, 
That's fine. The only snag is, uh, I don't have a car. What happened to your van? Oh, that's where Donnie vomited. That's not good. Can I drive? I think I'd better drive. Oh, okay. But when we get there, can we just change places in case we see anybody we know? Sure. Thanks. Oh, great. We're going bowling and I don't even have a cantaloupe. <laughs> Do you, do you want some popcorn or... Oh, not right now. Thanks. Nachos. How about some nachos? No, thanks. <laughs> what? It's just a flesh wound. I thought that you wanted to be a doctor. I do, but... Right now, I, I want some popcorn. Would you mind? I just, I suddenly got this uncontrollable urge for popcorn. No, oh, sure, sure. Do you want the $8 size or, or the 12? You decide. Okay. Hi. What are you doing in this car? Hey, I'm trapped here. So let's just make the best of it, okay? You are going to ruin everything. What's to ruin? We're sitting in a parking lot listening to a movie. This is a drive-in. It's just like a regular movie, except you stay in your car. Well, at least I can order food. Yo, Jack, I'll have a burger and some fries. That speaker is for the movie. Oh. Hey, can you roll Animal House for the blue station wagon? Get down. Danny's going to be back any minute. Well, then you might want to take a look at chapter nine. Laying the trap. I don't need your help or Shelley's. Do I have to remind you what you'd be doing tonight if it weren't for our help? What? Do the words go fish, Brian, ring a bell? <laughs> Lucky's water dish in the microwave. Elf! I already looked for Elf. I can't find him anywhere. Well, did you check under our bed? Yep. In the garage? Yep. In the car? What car? Our car. Our car's gone. Really? Lynn took our car to the drive-in. Oh, sure. She'll take Elf to the drive-in, but not me. <laughs> Kate. You answer the door. I'll go to the drive-in and get Alf. Oh, no. I can't go to the drive-in. Lynn's got the car. You know, perhaps this isn't the best time to raise this issue, but I still think we need a second car. Hi, Kate. Oh, Trevor. Trevor, could we borrow your car? Whatever happened to hi, neighbor? How are you? How was the hunting trip? Here's your mail. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm sorry. Hi, neighbor. How are you? Now, how was your hunting trip? Well, we left last Saturday. And the first thing that happened was we pulled out of the driveway and got a flat tire. It took Raquel a half hour to fix it. Then everything was fine until we get up around Big Pine. We got on the highway 190, and about 15 miles down the road, we ran smack into a detour, right down a gravel road. Your mail. Oh, thanks. <laughs> now, can we borrow your car? Don't you want to hear about the gravel road? Not really. <laughs> So, uh, you and La Larry broke up, huh? You mean La Lloyd? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Oh! Did I do that? I don't think that you could have. I must have. I am always dropping things. Well, it's okay. I'll just clean it no. up. No! I mean, leave it. My father likes to clean out the car. He got a dust buster for Father's Day. Okay. <laughs> it
Are you all right? <coughs> I'll let you know in a minute. <coughs> I'm okay. <coughs> Actually, I could use a soft drink. Oh, what, what, what kind? <coughs> Root beer's fine. <coughs> Do you want the 750 size or the $10? You decide. <coughs> Oh, I hate root beer. Why are you ruining this date for me? This isn't a date. This is an oil painting. I don't even know why you bothered to go. Just forget it. Just this whole thing never happened. Well, then let's ditch this Danny dude and hit the road. No. Why? Well, because it would be rude and... and because he'd have to walk home. And because... Because you like him. Well, yeah, I like him ever since 10th grade, but I'm not going to tell him. Why not? Because I made that mistake with Lloyd, and look what happened. So what? You think that's the only time you're going to get dumped? Shelly says there's a broken light for every heart on Broadway. I am so tired of Shelly telling me what to do. Lynn, this doesn't just come from Shelly. It comes from the old Alpha. Hey, you think I haven't had a few experiences with the opposite sexes? Have you ever had your heart broken? Many times. I was engaged to one woman for 58 years. What was her name? <laughs> Ruby. So what happened to her? She took her love to town. <laughs> Even though I said, don't. I'm sorry. The very next day, I met Rhonda at a pet bake. And I thought, she's beautiful. Boy, I want her. But I was afraid I might get hurt again. So what'd you do? Well, I waited 17 years. Then I asked her out. The day after that, my planet exploded. Seventeen years. Wasted. I understand, Alf. Thanks. Oh, get down. Danny's coming. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't decide, so I got you both. Thanks. Danny, there's something I want to tell you. What? You didn't want ice? No. Um... Ever since 10th grade. Oh, yeah. Old Lady Cassidy's class. Boy, I had such a crush on you. You had a crush on me? Yeah. Well, how come you never told me? Oh, I didn't want you to know that I liked you. You know, that's the trouble with Earthlings. I mean, people. They never say what they mean. If this planet were to explode tomorrow, just think of all the time we would have wasted. Huh? Never mind. I'm just happy you like me. Excuse me. Uh, Lynn? It's your dad. Dad! Hi. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Danny. Hi there, Mr. Tanner. What a nice surprise. <laughs> uh, Lynn, uh, this is gonna sound strange, but uh, your mother couldn't go to sleep tonight because she didn't have that old orange blanket. You know, that old furry blanket that's always getting lost. And... Yeah. You know, I think it's right back there. It... It sure is. I'm just going to uh, grab it. And then I'm going to be on my way. Okay. You guys just go. Why don't you guys just go back and watch the movie? Okay. Danny, what's happening now? Uh, Bronson just snuffed another guy because they gave him his steak well done. OK, I got it. Yes, I do. Uh, I sure have got it. Now, I'll be on my way. Night, Dad. Well, Willie, can we stop at the concession stand? Oh, we can't. 
The prices are very reasonable. <laughs>